Hello friends, welcome back in another Java JavaFX video tutorial on the chart. In this tutorial session, we are going to create a line chart in JavaFX with FXML. Now guys, let's see an example of a line chart. You can see this is a, a line chart example. Now we will understand about the component and how to create a line chart. Simply, if you ask how to create a line chart, basically line chart is created with the help of the line chart class by instantiating a line chart object. Okay, now let's understand about the line chart component. So these are the important components. We have x axis, y axis, we need x axis label, y axis label, we have series and this series can be more than one we have chart symbols we have legends now we will see each components here in this image as you can see this is the uh, simple line chart example you can see the x-axis and y-axis and some numbers are written on it on the y-axis some number also written here so these are representing x-axis and y-axis these x-axis and y-axis can be uh, different on the top you can see the title of the chart you can set this title uh, from the fxml properties also you can set this title from the controller with the help of programming as you can see these are the uh, series and which is the uh, connected data points so this series is single in this example but we can use more than one series if you want to represent more data and uh, you can see these data points are represented through a circle a small circle and these circle are called chart symbols as you can see written here now at the bottom you can see this is the title and this title is for the x-axis and this is called the x-axis label you can set the y-axis label as well on the bottom you can see this uh, is representing the sales and uh, this is called the legends and this series has a name and that name is representing here as a legends if you have more than one series so all those will be represented at this place You can set these uh, legends on the top, left, right or bottom as well. You have more choices. You can do it. I will explain it later. Now we will move further. So guys, now we will see uh, how to create a line chart and hear all the steps mentioned. We will start from the step one. In the step one, we will create FXML based project in NetBeans or Eclipse. I will explain you steps let me take you inside the NetBeans. I am using NetBeans here in this to explain this. As you can see, this is the NetBeans IDE 8.0 and here I have created a simple FXML based project. As you can see, as usual we have the FXML file, controller file and one file which has a main method and a start method. Now we will see the FXML. Now I will show you what arrangement I have made here. Simply you can see we have one object which is line chart. You can get this object here from the library box type here and you will just simply drag and drop a line chart and this will be added on the anchor pen. Now I have just deleted. Now I will show you. So just drag and drop line chart from that place to here and just adjust the size as per your requirement. Once you expand this, you will find two child element. So the X axis is a, a category axis and the Y axis is a number axis. Because on the Y axis, we are going to represent number, but in the X axis, we are going to show the string values. Now I will assign the one FX ID to this line chart because I will use this object in the controller. I hope this is clear only the thing I have done here I have saved it now I'm taking back you here in the NetBeans 
Okay, before uh, going to do more coding, let's understand few important points about line chart. In the step two, we have to create a series for a chart and we have to set a name. Because we have seen here in this diagram that we have one series because series is the data points which are connected through the lines. So to create this series, you have to understand two facts. First important thing is if we are going to display the string values on any axis, so we have to use the category axis. And if we are using numbers, so we will use number axis. But in the x axis, we will use category axis and we will display the name of the months. But on the y axis, we will display only on the numbers. Now you can see. So category axis will take the string values and number axis will receive the number values. I will explain you in the next step. Now I'm taking you inside the FXML. As you can see, in this FXML, we have the line chart. And once we add this line chart here on the anchor pan, we will get the default X axis as a category axis and the Y axis as a number axis. If you have a requirement, you want to represent the numbers on the X axis. So you can use the number axis. I will explain this uh, in next tutorial. You can swap this. Now we are going to set the title for this line chart. So here in this properties, I'm going to set it. So simply what I'm doing, I'm going to uh, show the sales data and the sales percentage in each month for year 2020. Okay, guys, that's it. Now going further. And now the important thing we have to create the series object. So you will get the series object with the help of XY chart class. And uh, we have just created. Once you create the series object, just set a name. Why? Because if you want to differentiate that you are representing a uh, lot of things uh, with multiple series, you want to add multiple series, then you must provide a name to each series. Otherwise, you will not able to differentiate between them. And these series names will be appear as a legends. Now at the step three, it's time to add a data inside the series. As you know, a series is a data points and basically series is a list of the X, Y chart dot data objects. As you can see here in the code, we are creating the object of data, which is from the X, Y chart. And uh, we are calling the parameterized constructor. The first we have to give the value for the X axis and the second for the Y axis. So in our case, we are using the x axis as a string so we are passing this string because we are using category axis and category axis will only accept the string values you can understand in the data constructor we are passing two values for the x axis for the y axis just simple so i am preparing month data and the corresponding sales percentage. So guys, we are ready with the series. We have uh, the data. So we are representing the sales percentage for each month. Like in Jan, we have 23% sales. For Feb month, we have 14% sales. And for the subsequent month, we have the sales percentage. That's it. I hope this is clear. Once you are ready with this series object, you simply need to add this series inside a line chart. The method is simple line chart dot get data dot add just pass that series object. So now inside the controller, I will do some changes because uh, this code I have written for trial. Now in our case, we have to write this one because we are going to use the category access for the x axis to represent the month name. And this is the 
fx id and uh, this is holding the xy line chart object and this line has no use because we have already defined the title through the properties inside the fxml and uh, here at line number 63 we have simply added the created series creation of the line chart is very straightforward and simple now it's time to take a clean build so guys please set your project as a main project then uh, you can use that top menu for a clean build okay clean build is in progress now we are waiting for the completion of build okay guys build successful it's time to run it now I'm, I am on this file going to run okay now stage is appeared you can see line chart is appearing here on the stage now just observe here on the x axis we have name of the months jan feb march april may and so on on the right axis on the y axis you can see the data points as a number which is representing the sales percentage and each data point is connected through a line and the complete line is called series you can see this is one series that we have added and this is represented in the bottom as a legends if you have a requirement you can add more than one series in the same way i hope this concept is clear to you if you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help